Well, good morning out there, guys. A live look out of the tower camera showing a pretty quiet uh, start to the morning. We do have some cloud cover in the sky. A little hard to make it out because of how dark it is, but radar showing nothing really. No rain to worry about this morning. So that's good news if you're heading out the door. Yesterday, it did look like we were dry across the metro area. To the west, let's say you needed to go to Lake Charles yesterday, you saw some rain. Maybe you had to make a visit to Morgan City. You might have seen some rain. Everybody else in our area, completely dry. And everything east of us, also completely dry yesterday. That won't be the case today. So grab the umbrella before you head out the door. 74 degrees right now for the current temperature. 70 in uh, Liberty right now. 78 down in Napoleonville at this hour. Your zone forecast shows highs right around uh, 90 to 93 or 4 degrees today. It just depends on how much cloud cover we see and where that rain tracks because the rain will be kind of isolated. Areas to the south pretty similar again between 91 to 93 degrees for those high temperatures today. And again, we haven't seen a lot of rain in the past uh, day. Future track rain totals are showing uh, possibly a couple of showers right around lunch, mostly towards the coast. But the metro area has a little better chance of seeing rain in the afternoon to evening hours. But again, they're going to be isolated, maybe spotty in coverage. So not everybody's getting rain today. But that changes once we get to tomorrow. So. The start of your Labor Day weekend is going to start very wet in the afternoon. Widespread storms. Some of that rain could be heavy at times. So, again, if you don't have the umbrella on hand today, you almost certainly will need it tomorrow. And if you have plans this weekend, you got to plan for that rain too. Rain chances are going to go way up for tomorrow, as you just saw on that future check radar, but they continue to stay elevated all the way through next week, even after Labor Day. Today, there is going to be a flood risk, but it's a very small risk. However, that risk goes up tomorrow for areas in Baton Rouge and south of Baton Rouge towards the coast. Heavier rain likely along the coast for tomorrow, but still some good rain could be seen here. As for the Tropics. We got a lot going on out there. So, as I break it down for you, we got one wave right off the west coast of Africa. This particular tropical wave has a low chance of development, so I'm not too worried about it for now. This one I'm still concerned about. It still has a high chance for development in the next five days as it tracks northwestward. It could even track towards the Caribbean. Um, where it goes from there, we'll have to see. I've seen many of them turn south this time of year, uh, I've seen many of them turn north. Hopefully, it goes north. But we will have to see some of them even go over the Florida Peninsula. And then we got Tropical Storm Danielle. It's been 61 days since we've had a name system. July 3rd was the last one. That was Colin. Well, now we have Danielle, so we can mark our fourth name system off the list. It's currently a tropical storm, but it is expected to become a Category 1 hurricane later today. But you'll notice it's literally 900 miles away from the Azores. The Azores are all the way over here. It's not even expected to hit the Azores. It's going to move out into the open Atlantic. And as it goes north, it's going to turn into a subtropical system and then likely impact parts of Great Britain. But that's going to occur after it's already a subtropical system. It'll no longer be a hurricane. Now, now, your take or leave it forecast if you are heading out the door. Again, you're going to need the shorts, you're going to need the sunglasses, and maybe think about grabbing that umbrella as well because it will get a little wet for some of you today, but a lot more of you will see rain tomorrow if you don't get it today. That's also going to lower temperatures with the greater increase in rain coverage tomorrow. And then it looks like we stay in the 80s through Labor Day. Labor Day also looking to be very wet. After Labor Day, the rest of next week, we continue to keep rain chances with us daily.